show you here, the green order. This tutorial should show you how I will paint my UNSC ships. These are the frigates. Of course, also the bigger ships will get painted. I will do them with an airbrush, and that needs some preparation. First thing, I need something where I can hold them and spray them. I don't want to glue them here or put them here since I don't want to um, disturb the bases or get color on the bases. So I'm building something where I can put them. There are a lot of spare flight packs here. So what I'm doing is I will mount these flight packs into some plastic parts that I have left from other projects. Just take a hobby knife, do some holes in this. This is a tube, it's not filled, so that's why it's so easy. <laughs> and after that, I take my hobby glue put some glue here and just press them in. That's it. I don't need to do much more than that. With all these pins I will then mount the ships and I'll first paint the UNSC and after all I will paint the uh, Covenant and I will basically use the same system. I will use these again for the car not when the UNSC is done. Should make it much easier to get them all painted fast, especially the frigates of course. Okay now I've glued the first set here. I've prepared one. If I want to place the frigates here, put it somewhere, it'll fall over. So I'm using some excess plastic car where I just glue this down and that's it. So now I can place the frigates there. Yes, it's not dry yet. So I need some clamps here. Give it five minutes and it settles. That's what I've done here. Now I can basically take my frigates and pin them here, all in the same direction, so that I can then easily paint the models. Looks like this. Of course, all of them will have some frigates on them, or later on the Covenant Corvettes. The bigger ships will go on this. These are for the mediums, and the biggest ship. We'll go on this one, and of course I'll use it again for the Covenant. So I believe the biggest one will, might fall over on this normal flight base. I'm using a similar system for my other fleets, um, basically. Uh, since Halo has squared packs, I need to do a new one. That's why I'm doing it again. <coughs> um, but it's fairly easy, and there are so many flight packs, you can easily find something where to glue them and make a row of the fragments and paint them all at once. Okay, next step will be airbrushing and priming. See you so the next step I'm mounting them all on their respective bases that I've produced. So I'm putting them all on the flight packs like this. Here another one. These are the four marathons so that I can hold them during spraying. And then I'll do the same with all the frigates. And of course with a big one. The first color I'll spray is a, a light base coat. I'm going for a light gray. At this moment in time, I'm not 100% decided yet. And of course the big guy also needs his base. And then I'll do some uh, pre-shading with black base. And then I'll use the gray that I've decided to use for the main color. So next step is my Vallejo airbrush, uh, Aztec airbrush, Vallejo color. I'm using the surface primer, Camus Flas Desert Tan Base and you just spray it on the models to get a very thin layer of base coat on them. Yeah, basically from all sides.
top side and of course also bottom and from the front so this one has received some color it's not the best visibility today due to the light the sun um, but that's it I'll do that with all of them I've also done it with the first set of frigates already they're here and then I'll do it with a big one next so the next step is pre-shading with thin line of black I'll get them in here I want to do these parts darker here and I would like to have the engine compartment darker and these parts I think that's it a little bit at the front we're done then we can go to the big guy I won't do this on the small ones it's too much effort And again, the engine block should be a little bit darker, and also here this bigger surface below the sides. Okay, so the last color to be sprayed today is light grey, which you can see you see here, also Malaysia Model Air, and now I just add the color thin layer over the full model. I try not to spray from the back since I would like to get the black undercoat inside the engines. So that's it for the medium. I do the same here on the smalls. Here I can just spray a full layer and then go from and of course also from the bottom that's it for these um, the epoch also needs some color But I think I need to refill my color reservoir here. So this one will get color and then we'll come to the painting step. So the next step in the painting process is the dark ink. I won't do much more on these. I want to finish them fast so that we can use them painted in the next games. Hopefully starting from game number three. So this is all I do here on this. Just add some black ink from top side, from the bottom side, and then also from both sides. Okay, now from the bottom, the front of the basically done, it has enough color but you still have to go here into the inside of the wings now at this moment they have a little bit too much um, black ink in some cases so I just pull it off here, not more than this and also on the lower side, you might want to reduce it in some cases, just, yeah, go in with a Q-tip once they are done. I'll do the same for the mediums and also the big guy. Here it is. Just add the black ink. This is the butter black from Games Workshop. I still have one and I really like them. 
but I also do mix my own black ink in some cases. This is really the rest of the color that I have. Since I it's an old one, I don't think you can't get it anymore. But there are other black inks out there. And again, I work over the surfaces to keep the color in the recesses. And especially on the top, I reduce the, the black ink. So I also get a darker bottom than top of the ship. Okay, I'll do the same for the big guy and the rest of the fly gets. And then we'll see us with the next step. So the next step, the next thing I want to paint are the engines. And I'll start with a bigger brush here and use the Park Green Flat from Vallejo and I paint the inside of the engines with this color. Engines should go fast. I want to give them some green glow. Yeah, and this is the big engine compartment. The outside will get some other color. Most likely one of my favorites. A gunmetal blue. Also from Vallejo. You see that I um, use a lot of Vallejo colors. And I'm also adding some old games workshop colors in here. So this is the first color already done. So I'll clean up the brush and go for the next one which is emerald. So again with this brush and I need a little bit of water. And I put this into the inner side of this slightly kind of dry brush in it. Okay, now let this dry a little bit before we go to the next colors. But we'll do the same sheen on the other ships. So the, the marathons will get exactly the same. And for the frigates, you need a smaller brush. Basically add it here into these small dots there and add the frigates I will also reduce the number of colors I'm using since I'm not able to get them in there in such a big amount of colors so this is the set of frigates first color now they can dry again and then we'll go for the next color. So the next step on the marathon is Goblin Green. I'll also dry brush this in here and I want to go for this inner ring of the engine thrusters and also the very outside so that I have the deepest part, the darkest color down there. Marathons will get basically the same sheen. Let's show it to you in one of them here. And again, the deepest part stays darker, and I get the glow on the sides. For the frigates, I'll add this color here with a smaller brush, of course. And I'll try to put in an even smaller dot inside the dot of color we already have. And maybe hit the outside of these thrusters with a very little color. We don't need much for this. Okay, done. Next color will be the Scorpion Green, also from Games Workshop, and we basically repeat this. Steps with very little color on the big ship, not on the small ones. I can skip a color. Yeah, 
you have one so all around here and some small dots inside the small ones that's it now I'm gonna let them dry around for two or three minutes and work on so the, the next set of colors is um, light green from Vallejo and I again just paint it on the edges and in this middle edge a bit less with every color and the small dot inside the small thrusters and that's basically it I'll do the same on the frigates in this case just touching them one just kissing them Very little bit of color. That's it. And of course, the big guy will also receive some of this treatment. So, the last color inside the thrusters is. Yeah, I can't do the, read that on here. Yellow green. <laughs> so old. And using it a lot but only very small drops one at a time and I think I'll give some white into the bigger ones after this same for these they receive very little color on the big ones just a very small dot and the smaller ones <coughs> that's it I'll get the white it's not here yet um, and then we we'll so go on. after doing the yellows and the green I add some white on the last highlights here I won't do this to all the frigates I'll just do this on the bigger engines and thrusters and of course on the epoch okay next color will be the outside of the engines that's gunmetal blue and I'll need some color here Add some water, just a drop, and then again I use my fine detail brush. Get some, and I'll just paint once around the big thrusters to give this this shiny metal blue that I'm using very often on my ships and other models. I like this specific color. So the first thruster is done, and then the second one will do it exactly the same way, just once around. And this is how they look like at this moment in time. The next step are the fine details. We're going for the for yellow details here for the windows. And this of course needs to be the finest brush. And I just put in some drops of color here to color some of these places. You don't need to do all of them. Since there might not be lights behind all of them. Um, and that's basically it. I'll basically do this to the bridge, not more than that. Some more here. And here on this upper part, this also looks like could be a window. 
Okay, I'll also use this color for some small details here to give it a little bit color to the model. And some more drops of color instead of keeping it gray and gray. Okay, they do the same for the marathons, of course. And here there are this is structure that lends itself to this here. And then down here, give it some yellow dots. And I see another structure down here, inside these points, which I'll do with this yellow. And I think that's it for the yellow. I'll copy this to all of them. Now, to color for the for some stripes, I'll use a dark blue, that's dark Prussia blue. Um, and I'll do some of the plates here in this color. I'll use these top ones here, make it basically half a ring around the full ship. And then also go in there with maybe a second color. Really reached <laughs> the my fingers colored. Here we use this part of the aft section, same below here, to get some stripes on the ship. Do the same on the second side. And I think that's basically enough. I need to do something on the front and then some yeah metal pieces and they are done. Let's do the same on the big guy. On the big guy I'll use the bigger surfaces here of course. And give the dark Prussian blue to this one. Then of course work my way around the ship. So one on this side. I'm gonna do the same here on this surface here. work your way around. Basically done. I'm not sure where to use the blue on the lower side. Um, I think I'll use this part here. And then I'll color this completely in blue. Down here, ones around, and I'll do that on the other side too. <clears throat> so, I also need to put the blue on the small guys here, the frigates, and I'll put it here on the back part, paint my way all the way down my sprue here, just here on these panels. And of course on the other side I'll do the same, but I'll also paint the nose with blue. So up to here there's a small um, line there which you could use. Up to that line I'll paint it blue. And then it looks like this, the first one. You see its color already. 
course I have to repeat this in all of them and not just on this one sprue but on three further sprues that I have with these since it's 27 pieces in total but I think I'll finish them all up till our next game now it's basically the um, metal parts missing so the weaponry now I do the top for all of them and that's the reason I mounted them all on this sprue I can very easily paint them in big numbers so the last things to paint on the ships are the weapons I want to use two steps of metal color um, this first one is Warp Dog Brawls and as you can see there are a lot of weapons, three on every side of every fragate, so six per fragate just on the sides plus one here at the back um, by 26 fragates, that's a lot um, I'll move through these and then I'll add a second color I'll add um, most silvery one, most likely chainmail from Games Workshop. Just the top of the weapons here. And the underside also has two, so we are at 11 per fragment. So 200, nearly 300 weapons that need to be painted just on the small guys. And this was yeah, two goes. On the medium ones, I'll do the same. Basically, I'll give some metal here to the tip, just a small part there. I'll also give some metal to these tips here. And I'm happy it's much faster, it's just a few pieces here on these that I want to paint like this. Um, maybe. Yeah, here these two surfaces can stay in this color to give some details to the ship. But that's basically it, just the other metal and I'm done on these. And on the big guy, I'll also go for the tip here. There's this, yeah, whatever it is, weapon that is the very tip of the ship. And then on some of the other parts are also at these colors. What I see here is there's another structure where I could use the yellow. I think I'll add that. And also inside here I pick some structures in metal just to give some details to the ship. There's another one, these round dots that lend themselves to metal structures and also on the weapons, they have weapon banks here the broadside weaponry just do some two-step metal coloring here And I'll also pick these small parts. This could be weapons, I'm not sure what it is. Need to watch the videos or the video game to see what this really is. So that's how it looks like right now. I'll paint the other side and I'll finish my 300 weapons on the small ones. So the last color for the metal bits is chainmail from Games Workshop. And I again just put a dot, very small line on these already painted with Warblock bronze parts. Use my fine detail brush here to give them a small highlight. That's it. I'll do this to all the ships. Of course, also to the frigates. Here, 
can see the first ones with the, their huge set of buttons here once more touch with the brush and they are done and of course also on the back one and the lower ones that's basically it here and on the marathons I'll do the same small dot on the front these tips on the top and yeah, that's it for the marathon I think I did put in more metal there yep I'll keep the spaces here at the back in the darker metal last step on the models is doing some highlights on the blue parts and then we're using Prussian blue to highlight the dark Prussian blue just put some lines in here especially on the top part of the model start halfway and put the color to the until the top and here basically on the edge of this model that's it positioning lights as a last step after this so again on the top you just on the corner here and there from the middle to the top of this last part done same for the big guy of course here I just work my way here on this big surfaces and I put some color on this first slightly angled surface down here we also have some color and I put some highlights on the edges that's it do the same on the other side done for the small guys I only think the top needs some edge so I only go in from the front here with some color put it here and that's it so last step positioning lights all the ships will get some red and green dots I put a uh, line in there do that for the others and then I'll also do it in green on the other side kind of positioning lights this red one might be a little long for the light but okay and I'll also do it on the frigates first the red ones they go back here and I run through all the frigate ones one small red dot here and on the big one I already try to put some red lights here and some green lights over here green lights red lights So last step, now also the green, the other side and the fry gets. And after that I'll only have to deep put them on the bases back again and I'll do an overview shot of the finished fleet on the bases as a final shot. I decided to add one more color on the frigates and that's the yellow I used the yellow on the windows for everybody else but I'm not put it on the frigates yet so I think they need some and then I decided to just to the top part here small dot of yellow And that's it. That is the final model here. Yeah. I put them on the flight bases. Like so that. final shot for today. This is the complete fleet as you get it out of the box. You can see the marathons, the Epoch and 27 frigates. Now we'll do a close-up here from the Epoch class carrier. This is a huge ship. Enjoyed painting it. And then 
close up of a marathon and I'm sure they are looking good on our battle reports okay I don't need to show a close up of the frigates there was one in the picture already so one more shot from the front and I hope you enjoyed watching see you soon back here at Die Grüne Horde bye bye